For example, this ray of light, which is incident on a the surface. Say so you can take there is a two mediums, right? So you can have a two mediums, and there is a boundary, and you have a normal to that. So let us consider there is an incident ray and which is incident. Say, for example, you say that light is incident from one medium to another medium. So this is the medium one and medium two. So then, whenever the light incident from one medium to another medium, then what happens basically, the part of the right will come back into the same medium. So it bounces back into the same medium. So you call it as reflection. You call it as what? Reflection. Then the remaining part of the light will be goes into the next medium. So you call it as what? Reflection. Basically, only for light only we call refraction. But for other waves, for other for other waves, you call them as transmission. Whenever a kind of a wave is traveling from one medium to another medium, there you say transmission. But coming to the light, you are calling it as refraction. Why we are calling it in the name of refraction? Because there is an important parameter is there that is going to make a key role in the light or in the ray of this. That is, what is that parameter? Can anyone speak? Yes, what is the parameter? That is, refractive index. Refractive index. Fine. So based on the refractive index only, we say that the given medium is either rare or medium, or it is the dense or medium. So rare or medium or dense or medium, that depends upon the refractive index of the medium, refractive index of the material. Okay. So, for example, if I take a, a is one medium, and I can take another medium as I say, for example, glass, this is the secondary medium, then what is happening? Yes, there is a refraction is taken place. So, this is what the refracted ray. So, refracted. So, the refraction is taken place from one medium to another medium. Now, now the point of discussion is what is meant by refraction is the processing of light which is traveling from one medium to another medium. Okay, so there is what the refraction and the reflection means the one which come back into the same medium. Okay, so this is what is basically comes under the where the light is incident on a boundary. Fine. Now, as you say, this is for the normal. So if you have a normal, then with what angle you are going to instead the light? That, that is very, very important because there are basically two kinds of two kinds of principles, or say you can say two kinds of laws are there. So those two laws are very, very important. One, I mean, one should understand in a array of things. They are like, you know, law of reflection. And other one is law of refraction. 
Yes, there are two laws. One is law of reflection, other one is the law of refraction. So these two fundamental laws are called, they are comes under the optics laws. They are the optics laws. You can say that first law of optics is law of reflection. Second law of optics, may name it as law of refraction. Okay, but anyway, that we'll see it later. But nobody asks you which is the first law of optics, second law of optics, not like that. But you should have that there are two fundamental laws which are very, very important, especially in the ray optics. One is the law of reflection and the law of refraction. Now, what does the law of reflection say? Or what does the law of refraction say? So, law of reflection is the law of refraction. Okay. You know that. You know, and I know that you know that. And you know that, I know that. Okay, but fine. But still, we should be more clear. That's what we are giving. And we better. So now, law of reflection. Law of reflection, there is basically the first law of reflection. Actually, we have reflection of the two laws. One is first law of the reflection, other one is second law of reflection. So, what is the first law of reflection says? The angle of incidence is called the angle of refraction, reflection. Uh, that is not the first law of reflection. Okay? That is, that is the angle of reflection. Don't confuse. The first law of reflection is the incident ray and the normal and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane at the point of incidence. For example, if O is the point of incidence where the incident ray is there, I, okay, so at the point of incidence, I and the normal and the reflection all lie in the same plane. That is what is a plane of incidence, like that. That is the first law of reflection. Okay. If you if you want, you can cross it your textbook. Okay, it is there in the book also. Now, what is the second law of reflection means? The angle of incidence, as like you said, the angle of incidence that means. Angle of incidence from where you are taking from the normal. So for example, this is the angle of incidence, theta i. Okay, so this angle of incidence and the angle of reflection from here, where you are taking that angle of reflection from the normal. Okay, actually it appears a little wider, but it should not be like that. Make it as same. So, this is the reflection. So, this angle of incidence and the angle of reflection must be what? Must be equal. 